What's up guys? Today I'm going to be covering um, how to recognize uh, closing signs. So this is one of my favorite closing techniques and um, something that I use all the time. This is probably, uh, I mean, one of the, it's 100%. You have to, you have to understand when to, when to go in for a sale and when to recognize that um, someone's ready to be closed. And I'm going to give you guys a brief explanation of everything and go through it all for you right now. Uh, there's a lot more advanced stuff with this. I'm just going to take it day by day. Um, by now, you should have checked out the eight great work habits. You should have um, the fundamentals of that being instilled in you to working a full day, um, having and maintaining a positive attitude throughout your whole day with sales. Um, you should know the four factors of impulse, kind of how to build up urgency, how to create uh, fear of loss, um, indifference, uh, the Jones effect. You should learn how to recognize who to spend your time with and who not to spend your time with. Um, and you should also have a basic understanding of the LOAs, kind of getting your numbers down, creating a system um, that anyone can follow, including yourself, so that way you know um, how to pace yourself when closing a sale. So I'm going to go through a few real quick uh, stop sign theory. So stop sign. Basically, it stands for shut up, take out a pen, right? So it's like old school, old school when we used to do, when people used to do paper apps, right? Or paper applications. So every sale, you're going to have some tell signs that uh, shows that a person's either interested or they're, they're ready to buy. So I want you guys to think about this as far as your presentation goes with like the five steps of the conversation. So if you haven't checked that one out, you should probably check out that video before you go into this. But basically with the five steps of the conversation, um, you're going to have an order and a method to where you are in your conversation or your pitch or if you're ready to present or about to close or you're in the introduction just introducing the product you always want to use the stop sign to pull people towards the next step in the process of whatever your pitch is so if i was selling on the computer if i was selling over the phone or i was selling in person i'm gonna have a process and a system to what i do and i'm gonna move them over into the next step of the system based off a closing sign or a tell sign that they're giving me. So I'm going to go through um, the first one with you. So I'm going to go through silence. So silence is a very powerful thing if you know how to use it. So sometimes you'll be, you'll be pitching to a prospect or a customer and you keep talking, 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 you'll be about to close them. And you notice that they're just really, really quiet. What you want to do is the opposite of what your instincts tell you to do, which is to just throw more information out there and to try to spoon feed them something that you think they need to know or they need to hear in order to buy it. Instead, you just want to just just be quiet, right? So I'm going to show you the power of silence, right? Um, so all we do today is just set up uh, an installation date or set up a time where we can work together. I just need a credit or debit card so we can hold that payment. Okay, you see how that feels? Right, that's the last thing that we left them with. So we're gonna we're gonna let them wait, we're gonna let them simmer it out, simmer out the whole um theory of what our product is, right? And the whole and the, all the all the knowledge that we just gave them and all the information, we're just gonna let it simmer it out and let them think it over for a moment. That's why we're gonna have silence, okay? An another one's gonna be hospitality. So you're gonna see uh, a customer sometimes throw out a hospitality sign. This means that they're interested and they're, they wanna learn more, they wanna buy. So maybe if you're in the introduction part of your conversation where you're just introducing the concept or, or you're in the pitch part of your presentation, right? Where you're about to close somebody and somebody says, you know what? Let me get my husband or let me get my spouse or let me get my wife, right? In this room. Or here, you, you want some food, you hungry, you thirsty here, have a glass of water, you want some chips, right? That means they're your friend, right? They're comfortable with you. They, they're inviting you into their lives. They're, they're ready to be sold. So a sign of hospitality is not to be rejected. You want to you wanna take them up on whatever they offer you and then just go on into the next step of your clothes, okay? Or the next step of your conversation of where you're in, which is in the five steps. The next one is going to be questioning. So questioning 
Um, they're just going to ask a lot of questions about the product, and that's how you know they're interested. You don't want to answer every single one of the questions. You just want to keep moving them along the lines of the sale and moving them closer towards the close. So somebody's going to be like, hey, um, so so if I, so I with this product, can I do X? Or um, with this product, you know, how how long is the monthly going to be this much money? Or how, how, how expensive is this? Or do you, um, you know... Um, I was wondering if I can use this for X, right? If they ask a lot of questions about your product, that's how you know they're interested and that they're ready to buy. Another one's going to be future talk. So they're going to start talking as if they have the product already. So like, they're going to be like, um, oh, so when I get this, when I get this or, okay, so if I got this, what's the cancellation like on it? Or so if I got this, how, how would it all work? Or so, so when I get this, right, they're already talking about as if they have the product. And that's something that, that you should immediately act on and move them on to the next step of the conversation. You don't want to prolong that. You don't want to make them wait it out. You're going to lose the sale. So you want to immediately move on to the next step in the conversation. Then another one's going to be a direct yes. So a direct yes is just going to be, uh, they're literally just going to, they already researched your product. They did tons of um uh, information research beforehand. You just want to kiss it, keep it short and simple. You don't want to over talk. You want to bring them from the introduction to the presentation to the close immediately. You want to ask them a limited amount of questions. They already have bought the product in their own head. You can literally talk someone out of a sale. So when you have a direct yes, yep, okay. So all we do today is just set up this. I just want to make sure I got everything right for you. Um, I just need a debit or credit card for you. Like you already know, it the price of the of the product is fifteen hundred dollars. We could uh, do that all today, or alternatively, we could break it down into payment plan if you can't afford that, right? We're, we're going to immediately go in for the close. Literally, I've closed people within 5, 10 minutes if, they, if they're a direct yes. I don't I don't spend my time talking too much. I just go immediately for the kill. Uh, the next one's going to be a switcher. So they're looking to switch to your product or service from a competitor, so how you're going to know this is, there? well, obviously you're going to learn this in the short story questioning part of the, the phase where you're going to ask them a whole bunch of questions and learn a lot about them. And that, that's found in the five steps of the conversation, um, which if you guys didn't check out that video, you, you guys 100% should because this information is going to go past your head if you don't check that one out. Um, so they already, they, they want to switch over from a competitor product. And you know this because of what you've asked them in the short short questioning. In that case, you should move them on. Or they might even come to you firsthand telling you that they're looking to switch over um, from another competitor's product. And then in that case, you're going to focus on the quality and the price of a competitor. So that way you have a better understanding of why they're switching. So you always want to learn why they're, going to, why they're switching. Then another one's going to be like a hater. So a hater, they hate whatever their current product life or circumstances are. So they're going to tell you about it. They're going to tell you how much they hate it and how much they're looking for a change, right? They hate the situation that they've been dealt and they hate the situation that they're in. They're looking for a change. And that's where you're going to come in and you're going to, you're going to go through your five steps of conversation and move along the lines. You're going to tell them all about how great your product or service is and um, how, how it's so different from the, from the experience that they've had. And you really want to focus in on the key hot spots that they're throwing out for you. Um, it, it, what a hotspot is, in case you don't know, a hotspot is just like a pressure point uh, for, for a customer and what they what they care about. So that way you know what to close them on. So these are the eight um, closing signs. So I went through them all a few. There's hater, switcher, direct yes, nodding, silence, future talk, questioning, hospitality. I've used all these closing signs. Uh, I learned how to, I mean, I've recognized all these closing signs. I've learned, I've gotten better and faster at recognizing them. I know how to pull people out. I know what pitches to give people, um, depending on who they are. Like a switcher is focused on price generally or quality. Haters hate their 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 current provider for a problem that happened, or or um, their current service that they're with or coaching or whatever it is that you're selling, because of um, a past experience that they had that was negative. So you want to focus on that. A direct yes, they they immediately want your product or service they've already researched it so you're just going to go in for the kill future talk they're talking about as if they have the product already so you're going to go through the kill on that 
questioning. They're asking a lot of questions. They're super interested. You don't want to over talk it. You want to keep it short and simple. Answer some of the questions. Bring them on to the next um, point of the sale um, and really close that person and answer the questions as time goes on. Then you also have hospitality. Hospitality is just um, when, when someone goes and and introduce you to their spouse, or they try to provide you food, they're your friend, they're they're excited about you, they like you, right? You're going to go in for a close there, they already like you, they're comfortable with you, right? Silence, they're just being quiet. So silence, you want to ride out the silence with them. If I'm quiet for 30 seconds, you're quiet for 30 seconds. Last First person to talk loses, okay? And the way that you're going to ride out silence, even a worst case scenario, they have a question after they thought it out, you're just going to play objection handling with them. That's all you're going to do. You're just going to go through the uh, tr objection triangle, which was discussed in another video. If you guys haven't checked that out, I would suggest to check out the objection triangle video where I cover how to handle um, any type of objection that's thrown at you. Uh, it's really important. And then um, we also have the, the systematic way that we handle all types of objections. And then there's, uh, there's nodding. So if a person's nodding their head up and down, right, they're subconsciously already agreeing to what you want to buy. You're subconsciously already saying yes. So you want to move them on to the next step of the conversation or to the close or whatever you, step that you're in, introduction to the questioning part, to the close, to the presentation, right? Whatever step you're in, you want to bring them on to. And then, um, and then there's hater, which, which they just hate their current product and you're going to go in for the kill. So I hope this um, helps you guys make a lot of money. I know it's helped me make over six figures a year. And um, do two thousand dollars or more in sales every single week. Um, and this is how to recognize those closing signs, so you guys know when to go in for the kill. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.